and I'll just pick and choose whatever works. Hey Greg, what's the stall? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Party machine. That's a party machine. This thing revs to seven grand, dude. Yeah. The engine, the engine build on this is way different than anybody else would have done. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happens when you tell the engine builder how you're gonna build it. Yeah, copy that. And he was just like, What? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it though. It made it way different kind of the engine performed totally different than a lot of the other ones I've been in. I wanted a rever without a race machine. You know? Yeah, totally. It sounds good too. That uh, sounds special. That's Richard. Yeah. RPM. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you kind of have what I was going for. Sounds like a class one car. Yeah, it's got a crispiness. Yeah. I like the crispy. Yeah. When it, the cam comes on, it's crazy. It takes on a whole nother like note. Yeah. It was my dream. <laughs> so I didn't sand like everything tits. I sanded it just enough so it's abrasive to just stick glue. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't have to go over and DA it again. And it looks, I'll, I'll, I'll clean it. I'll re, I'll put more like cleaner on it, solvent on it and everything. Sure. Don't worry about that. Tell me what you think, man. No, it's sick. I'm really stoked on it. Looks good. Ties it all together. It's gonna look badass. I wish it, I had a sample of the material. I was going to bring it with me. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't have it yet, so. Well, like I said, I tried to clearance everything where there's enough to get, like, a wraparound. And I, and I can, worst case scenario, if I need a, 
open it up a little bit, yeah. I can open it up a little bit. That's no big deal without getting into your fine work, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and then see how this is kind of chilling yeah. too? Yeah. So... Got it. I mean, it's it's enough. Like I don't. This one's shifted a little bit, but these yeah. are easy. That's, That's loose. Sick. Yeah. Um, and it's a quarter inch spacer, right? With, and then there's no hardware. Yeah. Because I was like, dude, we're gonna flood this thing with hardware. I love and then, it. And then if you open that up more, then the the mounting surface where the hardware is here is so tight that you'd be like, you'd have like a bolt head right here. No, that looks great. And then um, and then so I just put the lights in, and there's already tabs in there to mount the lights. And no, the lights are part of this. Oh, they mount. This is a quarter inch plate on here. So you you have a threaded tapped plate. Oh, sorry. Per side. it in backwards. Yep. I understand. Yeah, wrap your shit and then put the thing in through there and, and then, then bolt understand. it right here. Yep. And yep. that's just tapped. Yeah. And if I need a little extra love, I'll just give it a little extra love because the 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 fabric the fabrics you know it's gonna take up. It's got cushion to it, so it'll take up some of that. Yep. Whatever gaps there. Yeah, and that's what I figured. Like, there's a couple. Like, I see some inconsistency. Like uh, this, can all disappear. That's gonna all go away. Yeah, and I figured that. Yeah, Let's, we gotta get that tape right there. I, I think what I'm gonna do too for all these for all these screws is yeah. just get aluminum screws. Okay. That are anodized. Yeah. This is like the same color as the um, you know, as the fabric. So they just kind of. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and this was just the clean win here. You know. Oh, looks so good. And that's just like I said. That's all shrunk through here uh how do i get it out what's the easiest way to take it out that, um well will it, it come out with the seats in or no everything yeah it, it should come i don't dude i i took that out pretty early on okay i'll take the seat out Let's but go. this it all comes out individually right so it goes this one out first mm -hmm. then it goes this guy out mm -hmm. and then these two there's also a thing here where this panel is the primary and it and it runs a longer return here, so then when this goes up, it nothing dives sure. side to side. Know, when I take it apart, I'll, it's I'll, very self-explanatory. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and everything's captured, so I think the only thing that has a nut is this, right? Mm -hmm. And then everything else should just be burp, 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 burp. I'd say the the best part about this is, is that you didn't make it like a cave in here. So like so many of these headliners, I mean, it's, it must be on the tubes because. Yeah, it does not feel like a cave. What do you mean a cave? Like, well, one of them, when you get into the trucks, when they have a headliner, yeah. and you feel like you're, like, in this, like, box. You well, know? if you're super, they built it super tight. Like, if you look at your A-pillar, yeah, like, that tube is on the sheet metal. That's nasty, and in a good way. Oh, yeah, no, we, yeah, it was done intentionally, for sure. So, I just follow the contours, and the only part that's not really, like, sucked up tight to the cage is right here, like, in, in where that bend would be for the middle tube. Mm -hmm. It's it's doing its own gradual thing that's instead. Fine. Yeah, that looks good, though. It's, it makes sense. Yeah, and it's just, I wanted to avoid having hard, hard surface changes. No, it looks awesome. You know? So, like, it, that corner, there's two welded corners, and that's it, you know? Yeah, it's 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 clean and simple, and that's what this truck is. Yeah, I, I was explaining that to Joey. I was like, I was like, it's tricky sometimes. I was like, I know Greg has expectations, but it's tricky because he wants when when people say do it simple for me, uh -huh. it's more of a challenge. Sure. You know, because my brain wants to do some retarded shit like right off the bat. I can't like I have to put brakes on. Simple doesn't necessarily mean not cool. Yeah, totally. <laughs> it just means simple lines. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so I think you're solid. And then the same with, like, the wrap. All this, you know, on all of the weather stripping, like, it just kind of oh, leaves so in it's there. it's going to disappear. Yeah. The best part about the weather stripping being where it is, it's going to make me wrapping this, like, it's going to make it so much easier to finish totally. the edge. Totally. Because yeah. all I have to do now is slice it with a razor blade yep. right along the edge, and it'll just disappear. Yep. And five, six years, ten years, eight years, whenever the headliner starts falling apart, I'll just peel it off. DA it and go <laughs> on another one. Like, well, maybe next time I'll go with a different color. Like, yeah. can, that's the that's why you do it. That's why I like, just whatever. Who yep. cares? You know. That's the cool thing about even when I wrap this, it was so yeah. simple. My buddy's like, "What if you don't like it?" I'm like, "Who cares? I'll just rip it off and glue another one on it." Totally. What if you screw it up? Who cares? It's just glue. Yeah, like, that's a lot easier. It's bloody, yeah, it's not like you're paying somebody like thousands of dollars if you can fuck up the shit that's cheap. That's yeah. the way to do it. I think even wood is the toughest one because you can't like add add wood like with metal. I'm like I could at least fudge some stuff. Like yeah. wood's no, a tricky wood guys, one. The wood guys disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> Shows what I know. They got, they got their own yeah. <laughs> yeah. I brought uh, in the feeders I do. Yeah. I've actually kind of like 
brought those two trades together. Yeah. Because just the passion for both. Sure. And it's pretty funny to watch the wood guys and the metal guys kind of go at each other. Totally. <laughs> They're going to come through it. That BMW is going to go right by the truck over there. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> this, I'm going to pull these panels off and wrap them with vinyl. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put black vinyl on them. Oh, okay. You know. Yeah. Just kind of get a little more longevity. The OG Herps trucks used to have, and I think even Robbie's used to have button, like snap button leather. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, why yeah. not? It's, it's wild. It's just, it's just like, you just need something to like take that first layer of abrasion. Totally. I kind of was curious how it was, how much spray it was gonna get. The most spray was definitely rear fenders. I just dropped those off yesterday and they're getting molds. Mm, sick. So, dude, super cool. He, I, while I was there, all the carbon fiber molds for the McMillan's were there. Oh, really? I was like, oh, this guy's definitely legit. Yeah. And then, like, like Mark Newton's, like, carbon fiber grill. Yeah. Like, all, like, this guy does full carbon and everything. He's all custom. That's sick. I was like, all right. Dude. You're in the right spot. Yeah, exactly. Right on. Good. We're going to go out on Saturday. For King of the Hammers? Yeah. Okay. That's the truck race. Yeah. We'll be there. I'm going to be camping, so I'll be there. All the days? Uh, probably going to get there Thursday at some point. Yeah. And then Friday and Saturday and I'll go Sunday. Copy. All right. Well, we covered Greg's headliner. Dude, it's fucking sick. That's that. I'll send you pictures of it when it's when it's all wrapped. Absolutely. It won't happen for a little bit, but. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Fired up.